Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vaishali Chaudhary, and I belong to the river Alaknanda. This is my partner, Mansi. Mansi, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you so much, Vaishali. Hi, friends. My name is Mansi Tolia. I too belong to river Alaknanda. The next slide, please. And the presentation topic of ours is the success giant, which is HUL. So, before delving deeper into the topic HUL, the next slide, please. Let me take you through the contents of our presentation. First, we have introduction, history, acquisition, segments and brands, strategy, CSR activities, revenue, competitors, market size and share, and finally, the conclusion. Right. Over to you, Mansi. Thank you, Vishali. So, the next slide, please. Yes. So, the introduction of HUL, it is a British Dutch manufacturing company with 18,000 employees all over India. And its headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. CEO is Sanjeev Mehta. Next slide, please. Okay, so talking about the history of HUL, uh, in 1931, Unilever set up its first Indian subsidiary company, which was the Hindustan Vanaspati Manufacturing Company. Two years later, in 19... 33, uh, Lever Brothers India Limited was founded. Again, two years later, in 1935, United Traders Limited was founded. So what happened was, in the month of November 1956, all these three companies came together. They were merged and gave rise to the present Hindustan Unilever Limited. Next slide, please. Right. So the acquisition which has made HUL the success giant which is right now. So the first, in 1903 they introduced Red Label, that is the tea brand which everybody of us knows, right? And in 1972 they acquired Lipton which is famous for its green tea. In 1984 there was an international acquisition of Brook Bond uh, that joined Unilever. Then in 1986 there was an acquisition of Ponds. Then in 1988, LACME was sold to HUL. Previously, LACME and HUL both were having 50-50% of profit sharing. But then in 1988, Tata sold the LACME directly to the HUL. Then in 2002, Ayush product range was introduced. It is to tap the market where people are inclined more towards the Ayurvedic products. Then in 2016, they introduced Suidha Urban Water Hygiene and Sanitation Community. It is a community center wherein they provide laundry facilities, shower facilities, hand washing, etc. Wherein all these facilities are produced, uh, sorry, provided lesser than the market prices. So in this, they, uh, you know, they uh, reuse the water. First of all, the fresh water is used for washing hands, clothes, and for showering. And that used water is again used for flushing the toilets. Then in 2018, they signed agreement with VDFPL for the brand Aditya Milk, which, uh, which deals with frozen deserts and ice creams. Next slide, please. So, uh, under HUL, there is a plethora of brands. So, we have uh, jotted down a few under the categories food and drink, home care, personal care, and water purifier. So, under food and drink, we have Konato, Red Label, Kisan, Quality Walls and Brew. Under home care, we have Comfort, Domex, Surf Excel, Veeam, and Wheel. Personal care, Dove, which most of us use, Sunsilk, Cresame, Vaseline, Fair and Lovely. And lastly, under water purifier, we have Purit. Next slide, please. Okay, so the strategies that HUL using, why it is so successful in the market, first of all is innovation. HUL is, uh, is aggressively working on innovation of its products. They have introduced sampling and trial packs. You must have seen the small packets of shampoo and the other HUL brands. This is to uh, tap the rural market and the market with low income and students as well. Now the winning the marketplace, when we talk about the market, it is, it is the place, the segment which they are covering, uh, e-commerce. They are pro providing their products on e-commerce platform like Flipkart, Amazon, etc. And assisted selling, they are uh, promoting. Assisted selling is a process of selling where the seller knows, uh, have a deep knowledge of the product they are selling and are confident about the product. 
now improvement they are always looking for improvement in their factories plants and their products they have introduced artificial intelligence robotics automation and new technology of machine in their plants and then winning people winning people they are uh, they are gaining the confidence of people by doing csr activities you might have seen the ad of uh, plastic recycling water saving etc which is done by actual and talented individuals we mean uh, in, the, in in the company they are recruiting people with talented minds and artif uh, sorry um, they are favoring artificial intelligence no no the artificial intelligence uh, they are doing uh, they are uh, with um, creative minds then natural ingredients they are um, introducing natural ingredients in their product previously hamam so was not having the natural ingredients but then they used to advertise it as a natural so but then now they are using tulsi and neem in their products this we have seen in an interview by the director of uh, hul next slide please Uh, coming to the corporate social responsibility so the first point the first initiative that hul has taken up is greening uh, barrens so uh, you know uh, scarcity of water is a big issue in maharashtra so it's a very very good initiative on the part of hul to have taken up such an initiative so what they do is during their operations they minimize the use of water secondly we have shakti it's basically income generating opportunities and imparting education on health and hygiene to rural women so we all know that in the rural sector women do not have knowledge uh, and the, they don't understand the importance of health and hygiene so this is another initiative taken up by hul to impart education in the rural areas for women third is special education and rehabilitation And the first one is asha dan it's basically provide about providing home to the abandoned children who probably do not have a sh have shelter or parents who can provide them that second we have ankur it's about educating special children so students who may be orally uh, challenged or visually challenged so they are educated uh under this particular program and lastly we have economic empowerment under fair uh, fair and lovely so here women are supported uh, to you know proceed with their careers they are provided with knowledge resources and whatever they require to shine bright in their future next slide right so here uh, we have done segmentation of the four segments that are provided we have provided the revenue and the profit each segment is providing so first is food and drinks where 19% is a revenue and 15% is a profit and home care 34% is a revenue and 27% is a profit now we move to the beauty and personal care which is the most profitable segment of hul which is providing 40% 46% of the revenue and 58% of the profit and the others is the uh, pure brand that they had introduced it is providing 1% of revenue and the profit right now is nil uh, this uh, the source of this information is the uh, hl financial report 1819 next slide please these are the competitors of hul we have godrej we have png marico dabar and colgate so she will be uh, explaining to you the market size and share of all these companies next slide thank you so the market size of consumer industry in india is 177509 crores and the market share of hul here you can see is 49% so it is having the biggest share now a dabar is with 8% share godrej with 7% share marico with 8% share again png with 3% and colgate with 6% 19% is for the other brands which we have not included here in the slide uh, next slide thank you so this is our concluding slide and the first conclusion that we have drawn from our presentation is the right acquisitions at the right time with right brands has helped hul to grow at a fast pace for example its acquisition with lakme has been a great success for it second one is innovation and r&d helped hul to tap market and engage customers so uh, the vice president of uh, Uh, HUL in the R&D department says that innovation is the bloodline of Unilever. So indeed, it is without innovation, a company cannot really grow. And third point is beauty and personal care is the most profitable segment for HUL, which is which is clear from our previous slides. That is it. Thank you so much. Thank you.